Yellow National Park supervolcano eruption continues, Iceland's big eruption today. Yellowstone National Park supervolcano eruption fears continue, what volcanologists say could happen. Fears of a supervolcano eruption in Yellowstone National Park have not subsided, even though scientific evidence suggests such an event is highly unlikely in the near future. Recent research suggests the possibility of a future eruption that could alter the planet's climate and cause widespread damage. Scientists continue to monitor the volcano's activity, emphasizing that while an eruption is unlikely in the near future, the potential consequences remain severe. The United States Geological Survey USGS, published a detailed analysis of what lies beneath Yellowstone. Using advanced electrical conductivity measurements, researchers created a three-dimensional map of the magma chamber. These findings revealed the presence of significant magma, particularly concentrated beneath the northeastern Yellowstone caldera. The study revealed that approximately 400 to 500 cubic kilometers, about 95 to 120 cubic miles, of silica-rich rhyolite magma is stored in this region. This volume exceeds that of the last major eruption, highlighting the potential for a large-scale eruption. The rise of basaltic magma from deep within the Earth increases the heat in the area, which may gradually increase the magma volume over time. Despite the reservoir emphasized that the next Yellowstone super eruption is not overdue. Historically, three major eruptions, Lava Creek 630,000 years ago, Huckleberry Ridge more than 2 million years ago, and Mesa Falls about 1.3 million years ago, occurred at an average interval of about 735,000 years. The last eruption occurred 630,000 years ago. The activity of the latest eruption on the Raycanes Peninsula has now decreased and is confined to one crater, the southern of the two that have erupted since the eruption began six days ago. The activity in the northern crater ceased at around 10 p.m. last night. Lava is still flowing eastwards towards Fagwardalsfjall. Stein and Helga Doder, natural hazard specialist at Vaderstafa Islands, Icelandic Meteorological Office says that the situation is somewhat stable. Due to northwesterly winds, gas pollution from the eruption sites may be carried over Sutherland, South Iceland, today. According to measurements on Lofgeidi.is, the eruption is still affecting the air widely in Suthesterland, Southwest Iceland, parts of the capital area and even in Isafjordr, in the West Fjords, another volcanic eruption in Iceland has prompted nearby evacuations, including at the tourist hotspot, the Blue Lagoon. Iceland's Met Office sharing notifications around 1 a.m. local time, Greenwich Mean Time, GMT, on July 16 about the possibility of a forthcoming eruption on the Reykjans Peninsula. At 4.05 a.m. the country's meteorological authority reported an eruption at Sunnuk's Gigar Crater Row. Information shared 30 minutes later noted that the site had lava fountains but no ash clouds pluming into the sky. Throughout the day the aviation codes bounced between red and orange. The Met Office's first alert included a red aviation code meaning an eruption is forecasted to be imminent, or occurring, with significant emission of ash into the atmosphere, that's possible or already happening. The last code the authority released on Wednesday, downgraded the event to orange for the second time that day.